I don't think there's anybody out there that can tell me what it was that Scooter Liberty said that wasn't consistent with his with his uh, deposition. I, I scanned the news media, and, and he was convicted, so I'm going to accept Chris's word on that, but I don't know what it was Scooter Liberty said that wasn't consistent. Secondly, there was no underlying crime there. But, uh, but Congressman, well, let Chris, me just ask you, for a point of, I want a point of consistency here just for a second, sir. You said that there was no underlying crime in the Scooter Libby case when he was convicted by a jury of perjury and obstruction of justice. Uh, I mean, no the U.S. Congress... crime in the investigation by Right, the well, let me ask you this. The United States Congress, led by Republicans, dominated by Republicans, voted and did impeach President uh, Clinton for a perjury and obstruction of justice. What was the underlying crime in that case? The, the, well, I don't, I don't think I can... No, what I was the underlying crime? Either, but he, he, he was... No, wait a minute. Uh, I want consistency here. What the was the underlying crime of the president beyond obstruction of justice and perjury? You said there has to be an underlying crime to justify a conviction for perjury. Well, I would say that Bill Clinton uh, lied to Congress. And during an investigation that was uh, at least had more merit than is being presented by the chairman of the Judiciary Committee. Not, the you're not being Senate. consistent, Congressman. You say there has to be an underlying crime for perjury and obstruction of justice to count when your party threw the president out of office, basically, on the issue of uh, perjury and obstruction of justice. And now you're saying, oh, that's not a big deal unless there's an underlying crime. Bill Clinton's underlying crime was his relationship with a White House staffer, a young staffer. Was that an underlying crime? No. So what your standard here? I, I do not believe that Bill Clinton ex issued executive privilege uh, against the Congress. And I don't think that Congress tried to subpoena people into that thing over the wishes well, you're of the changing president something. executive privilege. I just oh, noticed that you threw case, in that little point there. When you throw in these here. points, like there's no underlying crime and somehow Scooter Libby was an innocent here. Do you believe he was innocent of purge and obstruction of justice, Scooter Libby? The president thought he was guilty. He said there was a fair jury finding and he thought the I prosecutor did his job. I you disagree. I don't know what he said, Chris. I don't know. The news media hasn't reported that that I can find. And I've gone through pages and pages of, of, of research myself. I'm still waiting for somebody to tell me what he said that wasn't true. Well, well if you well, paid attention, you would know. Go ahead here. We'll be right you, back with well, Congressman Chris Van Hollen and Congressman King. Because Congressman King, everybody who's been following this case knows exactly what Scooter Libby's testimony was, and they saw why he was convicted.